ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Danganronpa 2. I'm Karen Maku. Oh, I'm Doom Dragon. Okay, so uh, we just visited the library. Let's go to the pharmacy. The pharmacy? The pharmacy. Oh, wow. I wonder what characters are going to be here. Oh, no. <laughs> it's her. It's the only character that... Oh, is... wait. What? Is, is she... No, I can look at the stuff over here. I'm not going to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking care about this bitch. These shelves are crammed full with lots of stuff that looks like medicine. Unlike the medicines I'm used to seeing, these ones look way more potent. Oh God, what's Double that? check for like a monokuma or something. What's that one that like everyone gets addicted to? Oh wait. Oxycontin or oxy? Wait. Yeah, oxycontin. Yeah, that one. Which like? I knew you could do it. Oh, there's lots of like prescription painkillers people get addicted to, but oxycontin's like. The, the, the worst. I think it's like the first one, actually. It was the first addictive painkiller they made. Well, there was always morphine. I get, yeah, I think it's just the worst. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got excited and I, I started shouting. <laughs> I was so happy that someone talked to me. Before people have either hated me or were grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. More importantly, is this a drugstore? Looks pretty spacious. It looks like there's no one here either. Um, with all these medica with all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. <laughs> if you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> when it comes to shots, I should definitely decline. Decline? Decline. Okay, I'll leave. <laughs> this bitch isn't stable. Remember, fella, always remember the graph chart, fellas, when it comes to crazy. All right? Every man knows about the chart. There's a bird! <laughs> There's a bird. There's more birds. There's like three birds. Oh, you're talking about the seagull. I thought you were talking about the birds in the background. <laughs> I want to eat a seagull on principle. <laughs> Sign says diner. I guess I should try going inside. Boom! <laughs> Remember that one time I made a burger and I literally made it too juicy? Yeah. That was awesome. Huh? It looks like... No, oh, it's you. Okay. Please, no. I'm trying to eat right now. Go away, dumbass. The ego suddenly started yelling at me as he held a hamburger in one hand. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant. Why does he? Why does he know about the new island? Yeah. Why do you know about the new island, Fuego? <laughs> Imagine the way you talk. You just, like put your hands on your knees and like stoop over. He's like, "Hey, buddy." I'm not gonna tell your parents. I just need to know how you know about the islands. You're not in trouble. I just want to know how you got and here. And then he punches me in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out a switchblade. Uh, <laughs> hey, why are you here? How'd you find out we can go to this island? Are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? Oh. I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating. You're not eating, though. And then he takes a bite. He's like, well, now you're eating. And I get up and leave. <laughs> sure, it'd be a hard to eat with no burger. And you just take the burger and shove the entire thing in your mouth. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jeez. Hmm. An annoying person doesn't went well out of their way to tell me. An annoying person. Then I found this place. And now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mystery solved. You happy now? So... Get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. Hey, about that annoying person, what the fuck did I just tell you? Mind your own business. <laughs> it got nothing to do with you. Actually, it does have to do with me. You know, I actually have a cousin who got into the cake making business. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this, we're all in this situation together. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We all have to work together. Uh, you should know that by now, too, so. Why are you avoiding us? I'm not avoiding you, bastards. I've just decided not to rely on anyone. That's called avoiding. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like... Not not to rely on anyone. That includes the Kuzuryu clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? 
Hey, are you actually... Don't, Don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I... It's not like I don't want to lead, head the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it on my own without relying on my clan. Oh, you proved it. Hmm? No baby. No baby boy. No baby boy. <laughs> Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to lead it. Oh, about your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news. <laughs> This is anime stuff, by the way. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you have a little sister? Shut up. Why'd you let me bring that up anyway? Well, you were the one talking, so... Yeah, I kind of just let you keep going. You brought that up yourself. Anyway, I don't intend to spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. Nothing good can come of it. That's what I said! <laughs> that hurts me for you, years. Isn't it obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others will often shorten, will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Byakia and Terror, terror are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating just to be held back by affection when it's time to kill. You're, you're still saying that? Just like scruff up his hands, like you're gonna kill so good, sport. <laughs> of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Okay, I dare you to. Yeah, do it. We're here, alone, in a diner where you can clean up and hide the body. Stupid. If you, Just you, like, trying to, like, egg him on. You, you don't actually mean that. You're awful just for saying it. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> You're the one who spoke to me without my permission. So don't get me, so don't get pissed at me. If you're too upset, you don't have to stick around. Fuck off. What the hell? It was stupid of me to talk to the talk to a guy like him. You fucking stupid. Stupid idiot. You bitch, fucking bitch, asshole. Fucking idiot, stupid. Jackass. <laughs> Dumbass. Bird. Eat the bird. I'll go this way. Consume the bird I, for its nutrients. I can't. <laughs> Well, I don't need to say that line. All right, yeah, we're fucked. A scream. That voice just now. Wasn't that a buke? That's all, folks. I gotta walk all the way here. It is a buke, so I feel like there's a whole lot of urgency. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Ibuki, are you all right? What happened? What's going on? The killing, the killing is starting again. Huh? Look over there. <laughs> so I glanced over to the beach where Buki was pointing her finger. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Anime shot. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Just like uppercut her in the crotch. Get her in the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a good thumbnail if not for the. What do you mean? I could totally get it without that. All right. Your speed is adequate. <laughs> a thousand years of death. <laughs> what the heck is this? You're not using your muscles properly. Your athletic body is going to waste. Shut up. All I gotta do is win. What was that? You're gonna win against me? Yeah, I gotta be honest. This is like... I mean, come on. This is like Ganon versus Link without a sword. Guys, fucking cannon is crazy. God, I love the face he made after he punched Sonya's spine into dust. Disintegrated her fucking spine and then took her stone. If you want to know what we're talking about, go watch Lonnie's playthrough of The uh, Legend of Zelda. Jesus, Ganon is like an actual fucking monster. We joke that he's just here to eat people, and it really seems like that's what he's here to do. Which, like... There must be some, like, thing where it states that, like, the more pieces in Hyrule, the more evil Ganon will be or whatever. Had enough? Have you learned your lesson? We're done for! He's done it! Nothing more than Nita's ultimate move! Super body blow! <laughs> gah, gah, gah. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. No! <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it, Lonnie. No! <laughs> My channel! <laughs> <laughs> My monetization! No! <laughs> That's instant death! 
If she's lucky, she'll live another five minutes at best. Akane, at your current power level, you cannot even defeat a mere team manager. Uh, you are not mere. What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? <laughs> You're a guy who eats the people who doesn't make it onto his team. Like, whenever you have two teams fight, you eat the losing team. <laughs> this isn't a fight. It's a one-sided beatdown! That's even worse. The rules for this school trip clearly state excessive violence is prohibited. What violence? This is not a real fight. We're training. It looked like a real fight. You punched the fuck out of her like it was a real fight. She's coughing up blood like it's a real fight. She's bleeding all over the beach like it's a real fight. I'm just a team manager. There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. We both agreed to this training session. I'm not violating any rules at all. Even, even so, I have this sudden interest in training. If I gotta admit it... Ah, oh, she's alive! She's not a weakling who'd get killed by a weak blow like that. He looked pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. I thought sparring would, uh, I thought sparring would help me burn off some of this energy, but I lost. I couldn't win. I couldn't win. More importantly, uh, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? What a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers. I see. Akane. It seems you're the type who learns through actions rather than words. So I shall give you just one piece of advice. How you use your body and muscles, your positioning and your timing, it's all half-assed. You're not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Basics. Make sure you understand the basics. You'll always be second rate if you just rely on instinct. The basics. <laughs> the basics outside of instinct. Damn it, shut up! No, I gotta stress the basics. <laughs> if you just understand if you understand what I just said, come see me. When that time comes, I will fight you once again. Don't forget. <laughs> yeah, you better off not You better not forget what you just said. My desire to win is pretty crazy. I won't give up till I beat you. <laughs> With wobbling steps, Akana left the beach. Like, she's really trying to hide the fact that it really hurts bad. <laughs> no, it's like that thing where she's, like, walking and then, like, she suddenly, like, slows down and then collapses. <laughs> <laughs> However, if she fought that fiercely with just her own style, how ominous. My hands are still numb. If I hurry, it'll feel like someone else is doing it. She's, she's probably gonna get even stronger. Yeah, you're probably right. What kind of conversation, conversation is this? <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting there like, what are you guys about? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> it's pretty here. It's so. I thought this was a beach house. Yeah, I thought this was a beach house since it's near the edge of the, of the beach. It looks pretty luxurious. I guess it's a celebrity style beach house. Soda. Soda. <laughs> no! Chair! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, a bench! You just like fling yourself across the room to be near this bench. <laughs> Pass soda. <laughs> Don't forget to look around for a monocoon. It's a fancy looking bench. It looks like something you can see at a resort. I don't know, Cody. Do you see one? Do you see a mono mono mono? Uh, I don't know, Cody. Do you see one? I don't know. Do you? I don't know. Do you? I don't know. <laughs> hey, doesn't this feel awesome? Like a celebrity's pad or something. The shower is out of order, but the ambiance is nice, and the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> Plus, the beach outside feels so private. It's awesome! Compared to urban seas that are full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. Uh, we're, the only, we're the only ones on this island anyway, so anywhere we go is a private beach. Hey. Oh, could you not harsh my vibes, dude? That's right. More importantly, why don't we splash around at this private beach? Awesome, totally awesome. Splashing around at such a gorgeous beach is really the best. He, he's usually happy-go-lucky. He's his usual happy-go-lucky self. Well, I guess that's one one of his good qualities. <laughs> one of his few good qualities. <laughs> okay. I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. 
I want to see Miss Sonya in a bikini. That shit's gay! <laughs> Whoa, it's here! <laughs> Why not? You trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonya? Yes! <laughs> I won't forgive you! Only boys are allowed to kiss on this beach! <laughs> I also found out about girls kissing girls! My whole world has gone bonkers! <laughs> Everybody's kissing everybody! It's awesome! Uh, changing in the beach house is prohibited! It would be bad if, uh, if shameful peaking occurred! Well then, we'll splash in our skivvies. Rips your clothes off. Please read. Uh, so you mean changing here isn't allowed? not going to the beach itself. Then I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never going to give her up. You might let her down, though. Anyway, breaking the rule is not allowed. Also, playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too. You guys? Oh! Where? Where is the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of them. No questions asked. Are we allowed to show this on YouTube? Um... I don't know. Maybe put He's like a here. hot dog or something over it. He's just got a giant <laughs> hot dog. I don't know if I can do that. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Like a really big Costco hot dog. <laughs> like... Oh, I wish I got a hot dog when I was at Costco today. You, what are you holding? <laughs> a machine gun, obviously. A Costco hot dog, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Rule breakers will be shot to death. It's just common sense. Rule breakers will be mustered to death. It's common sense where? It's not like we're under a military dictatorship. I want to I want to mustard something. I know I'm not allowed to, but I really want to mustard something right now. What if I just like calm? What if I just cut out the gun and just like put a collage of hot dogs in it? <laughs> Various hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Control yourself! I have iron willpower, so I'll endure it, no matter the costs, until the day someone breaks the rules. <laughs> so that's the thing to watch out for. As you can see, it's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. Didn't we make jokes about him just, like, blasting it into the ocean? I don't know. Well, that was totally bizarre. Man, they're annoying. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. I'm gonna go take a nap. Oh, oh which reminds me. Oh, when we mentioned Nagito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about it. Guess I should ask him about it. Kazuichi. Oh, which reminds me, I had something to ask you. Just like grab him and shake him violently. What you doing with the guy? <laughs> huh? What? No, it's about Nagito. I haven't, I haven't seen the guy all day. Do you know where he is? Did you put the the goblin fire? I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy ass bastard? We need to search the island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. So, annoying. so let's just end all the annoying talk right here. That's it. All done. He ended the conversation very forcefully. Uh, forcibly, whatever. Uh, just, just as I thought, he's definitely hiding something. Hajime. Oh, it's you, Chiaki. What happened? Well, Hajime. <laughs> Hajime. <laughs> and then she, like, drinks something. It's like, oh, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> I was really thirsty. It's hot out there. It's summer. It's Texas hot. Oh god, dude, this heat's gonna kill me. Yeah. I'm letting everyone else know too, but you can come to the ancient ruins to the island right away. You can, you can, right? Right away? Okay, hurry up. Mm, based on her pushy tone, she might have found some kind of clue. Hey, <laughs> man. <laughs> in the distance like a ghost. Hey, <laughs> then I guess I should head over to the ancient ruins. <laughs> she's like muttering it as she's walking away it's hot out there <laughs> it is. Uh, are you ready for character palooza what the heck is this such a gigantic building 
However, it is clear, uh, clearly faded. It looks, it looks like an ancient ruin. It's, it seems perhaps this is an, this is an act. Blah. <laughs> it seems this is an actual ancient ruin. What's going on? How can you say? How can you say this? Don't you think this building resembles the re resembles the school? School. Maybe you mention it. No. Know, but <laughs> I do see what she means. <coughs> no, our school is based off of this ruin. <laughs> There might be a resemblance to Hope's Peak Academy. Wow. You know, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that this ruin looks similar. It's a coincidence, right? Hmm. You found something, right, Chaki? What did you find? Hey, bastard. I'll fucking cut you if this is a waste of time. I didn't know you were also here. That bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> Did you maybe find a way to get off this island? Nope. Hi, Rime. Hi, Rime. Hi. Nope, nothing like that. Aww. Oh, then who cares? I should, uh, I should have played in the bath with Mahiru more. Everybody just like kind of turns and looks at Mahiru. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Then, what in the world did you find? Jack, you found something. I wonder what it is. <laughs> no, the camera! <laughs> I don't care about the camera. I care about Jackie. Hey, Jackie, what did you find? I found Hajime. <laughs> hey, Hajime. <laughs> if it's not a way off this island, does it have something to do with this island's secret? About that, I don't know. I don't know how you mean. You mean? <laughs> what do you mean? You don't know? I mean, I don't know. Hide me right now. Yeah, if I hide me, like I, maybe he'll tell me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not. Uh, it's not like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I, it, 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 I keep thinking about it. It feels unnatural. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becomes a side-scrolling action game. What? Or an, an or an anime about vampires becomes a stand the made by a virus from an arrow or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a natural like that. That's a little hard to understand. Look, the door's over there. Door? Hi, <laughs> man. <laughs> door. Door? It's hard to make out from all this dust, but this is the door you mean, right? That's right. Yeah, it looks it looks like a door to the ruin. Hey. So what's wrong with the door? Can can you go inside? Um, <laughs> Before we attempt to go inside, let's try to brush off some of the dust and clear uh, clearing some of the roots root things from off the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by unnatural. For now. I don't really understand, but I guess we should try what she says. You're right. Just as Chucky said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... It said boobs! Oh, what is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs in an ancient ruin. But it's like a door from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? It's, it definitely doesn't fit with the ancient ruin. And what is that symbol on the door? Hmm, it looks like Japanese. Oh. Ah, you're totally right. Er, that's was that Mekon before? I don't know. No. I, I didn't read it in time. Um, I'm am sorry if I just miss. Uh, if it's just my misunderstanding. It, to me, it looks like it says. Fuck it. Mirai. <laughs> Mirai or future. Future. <laughs> hey, who cares about a symbol on the door? I don't know, Fuyuhiko. It's probably important. More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? It looks like a liquid crystal display next to the... What? <laughs> next to the door. Could the two be related? Alright, that must be the key to open the door. It's probably set to open when you type the password. 
acting all high and mighty. So what next? He just pulls out a gun and shoots her. He had a gun this whole time! <laughs> <laughs> but he was planning to kill, so... It's obviously impossible to put in the password without any hints. Ah, are you saying a normal person can't open it, but a Yakuza can? That's hilarious. Shut up! Shut up. If we just type whatever, we might get it right. Or you might get shot. You see that gun that's definitely next to the keypad? And aimed exactly at where a person would be standing. Uh, I think we should wait. Doesn't it seem dangerous? What do you mean, dangerous? He looks directly down the barrel of the gun. <laughs> looks fine to me! <laughs> I don't see any bullets in it. <laughs> that's how guns work, right? You just see the bullet in there. Because the thing next to the panel, doesn't it look like a gun? In fact, it's totally a gun. Hang on. Yeah, it's a gun. <laughs> <laughs> like, bites it. Yeah, yeah, that breaks my teeth like a gun. Gun. No, it's just a very automatic hot dog dispenser. <laughs> Produces many hot dogs all at once. And then Connie's like, really? And she, like, gets in front of it and opens her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Very efficient system for hot dog dispensing. If it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? Well, what if you, like, were underneath the gun and had your hand on the keypad? Or, like, had a stick. Just put, like, a glove on a stick and just start it. You don't even need a glove. You just need a stick. Well, That's, like, big enough. Like, if it's a touchpad, yeah, you'd need a gun, but, like... Like, a gun, a, a glove. glove. A glove. Yeah, but, that's... like, if it's just, like, a keypad, you just need a stick. Well, I mean, look at it. There's no button. It looks like, um... I don't know. There's that panel right under it. That might be a... Uh, maybe. Or just get a severed hand from Byakuya. He's or not make Yoko do it. <laughs> yeah. Somebody expendable. <laughs> Nagito, get in here. It's... Nagito. Well, he is the lucky student. He would guess it right. Yeah. God, get Nagito in here. <laughs> Dang it. It can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. He's totally freaked out. Shut the hell up. You'll do it then. But still, a building like... A, a building like... Uh, a building that looks like an ancient ruin with a door that looks like it's from a sci-fi film. It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Hmm. Important place, huh? The problem is, how is it important? You're both quiet. You guys, you guys know about this building too, right? Uh, just be honest with us. I promise you won't be mad and won't beat you. No, I have, I have no, I have no idea at all. I don't know either. For now, everyone should focus on gathering the hope fragments. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Just tell... Just, don't just show up and tell some lousy lies. You guys are probably the ones who covered that door with dust, right? Uh, just to say fine, you guys are hiding it on purpose, right? Hey, hey don't talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch! Again! No one stops her! Say you're sorry, bitch! <laughs> I just say it! I just say sorry! <sighs> I hate those little thing. I hate those little tatatas that they do. The tatatas? <laughs> is it possible that there's a connection between this door and the reason the island is uninhabited? For example, this place might be a shelter, and there might be natives inside. Hey. Is something like. Is something happening that would make them hide inside the shelter? If so, we're all screwed. You're getting all riled up. Hmm, several possibilities cross my mind. Hmm. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. But not in a material sense. More essential than that. Huh? Huh? What are you saying? Hey, um... For instance... Even though Monami and I can come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. Huh? You can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me and... Y'all are dumb. 
There, now that I've shut up my sister with a fantastic Meg Pegasus Meteor Punch. This is the mystery, the mystery of Jabberwock Island. A mystery that even Monami and I can't solve. That's why I have such high expectations for you guys. One day you'll be able to solve that mystery. <laughs> that seems easy enough to me. All we gotta do is remember what that black and white tanuki said before. Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope's Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island... I got it! That's right, there's probably a traitor I didn't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. I know. There's a traitor among us? That's, uh, that's what that ugly Tanuki said before. Wow, I'm right fucking here. <laughs> Calling me ugly and a Tanuki. Those kinds of silly names don't depress me in the slightest. He's like trying to hold back tears. He's totally depressed. If there's a traitor, they probably know how to open the door, right? And there's probably boats or a way to contact the outside world behind that door. Or maybe whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monami is hiding in there. What? Wait, hang on. <coughs> but do you really think there's a traitor among us? No shit. Of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess. Oh, that was weird. Did you see that? Yeah, that was not right. <laughs> there isn't... There is no traitor anywhere. Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> What's so funny? Hey, hey. Oh, just... Have you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? The name is pretty on the fucking nose. World huh? Ender? I'm the one that's asking you a question. Don't just change the subject. I don't respect you. <laughs> I understand why you'd want to just ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students, no wait, elementary school students would come up with it. But the name is unavoidable because that organization actually exists. So what is this organization? <laughs> it's literally what it says. Those guys ended the world! Ended the world? <laughs> That's not an overstatement or a metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. So don't you think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? You mean they're a terrorist organization? Terrorists, huh? That might be accurate. Might be. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. I took these pictures myself! <laughs> I have an eye for photography, wouldn't you say? <laughs> In that case, there's more. they're more like heroes. They're the heroes who ended the world. What's going on? So what? Don't say things... Don't say things that don't make sense. Honey, welcome to dang and fucking Rampa. Don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one who put us all, uh, put us through all this crap. World Enders, are you saying that you and Monami are also members of that organization? Who knows? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is, the organization that the traitor is working for, the ones who brought you to this island, World Ender is beyond it all. Why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. It's just another made-up story to trick us. Like when he said we lost our school memories. I can't suspend my disbelief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that organization or the traitor exists. Monokuma, I shall listen to you spout nonsense all you want. While I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. You have cigars? Bro, like... share! <laughs> I don't like cigars. They make my tummy upset. <laughs> my, my. I was kind enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? Yes. Hmm. If you keep acting like that, I'll do this and that to your various body parts. Anyway, I'm telling the truth. The World Ender Organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members is hiding among you guys. 
That's why you guys gotta find that traitor and kill them dead. Man, that beach with seagulls really hit your brain. <laughs> Sorry, I was in Walmart hearing the AC go in full blast. <laughs> hey, you better stop! Shut up, Monami! Big brother defying trash like you needs to be punished! He just shoots her. No, don't pull my ears! They're gonna come, come off! Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Manakuma and Manami left the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Is there anybody who understands what he was talking about? Um, nope. <laughs> hey, hey. Ow. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I just get like you ever get like an itch on your arm that just comes as a sting? No. Oh. Do you want to talk about it? No. <laughs> Read your damn lines for, for, for end this fucking episode. For now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're probably right. Hey. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's just call it a day. Hi, you mean? <laughs> Hi, you mean? <laughs> After exploring the new island, all we've uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. Wow, what a beautiful day. Can't wait to start free time. <laughs> I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it started to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and world ender. I have no idea what's going on anymore. I don't even feel anxious about it. Okay, man. Sorry. I All guess right. I should go to sleep for now. I was also hearing the Walmart air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got you too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> With that, I laid my exhausted body onto bed and closed my eyes. And then Nagito's there. Hello, Hajime. <laughs> <laughs> you roll over and he's like inches from his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what what was he talking about earlier today about like oh. the world sucks and everything's bad and shit? Yeah, yeah just saying nerd shit. It's like Hajime sleeping and it's like he's just sleeping peacefully and it's suddenly like Nagito's like right up against his ear and he's just like <laughs> Yeah, I think about how like when you go to the store and like the cashier just gives you that look. Like you know that look where it's just they think that you're up to something no good, but then like you're you're not up to no good so you feel bad because they're like they're looking at you like that and so you just look at them and you're like what the fuck you looking at bitch and then he just punches Nagito <laughs> <laughs> my least favorite food is definitely crab <laughs> I can't believe this is the one we're on I also don't like shrimp apples tomatoes and seasoned trout eggs I don't like red foods at all red foods are red because they have crab inside of them <laughs> You're sure about that, buddy. That's funny. <laughs> it's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry to try and make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I will never, ever eat red foods. Yeah, that's right. All strawberries, crab. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberries, crab. Apples, crab. Red bell peppers, crab. Sorry, I had to think <laughs> for a second. Uh, you ever had anything that is red meat? Yeah, that's crab. Red slushies at the gas station? Crab. God, what else is red? Uh, what else is red? Cherry candies? Crab. Tomatoes? Crab. Crabs? Crab. <laughs> <laughs> you see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you might think. Please look forward to the next Monokuma Theater! Make sure you guys be careful, too! Can we Big say... red? Crab. Big Red is so nasty. They changed their fucking, like, formula up, and it's trash. Uh, yeah, we can save here. Hang on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Nanganrampa. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.